Beer can chicken may be the best way to cook chicken that was ever invented. So if you want to enjoy beer can chicken, but maybe beer's not for you, then watch this video. I'm going to show you how to do it without the beer. Heck, we won't even use a can. There are people out there that have their mind made up that it has to be a certain beer, nothing else will do, but the vast majority of people will do just fine using another liquid, and you can use soft drinks, fruit juice, the beverage of your choice. Now, I like the sitting chicken ceramic steamer slash roaster, and this serves as a replacement for both the stand and the beer can, and they can be purchased on Amazon. It's relatively inexpensive, and they can be washed in the dishwasher. And if you don't want the sitting chicken, well, there's a lot of other great options out there. Today, I have a seven pound whole chicken, and that's what I'm gonna use. You wanna pat the bird dry, make sure everything's removed from inside the body cavity, and then rub the chicken down with a light coating of olive oil. Now it's time to sprinkle on the seasoning of your choice. Now it can be as basic as salt and pepper, but I'm gonna use mink dog fennel pepper rub, and that's because I like this flavor profile. So season the whole chicken, and be sure and add some inside that body cavity. Now add at least half of the coke, and you can also add some of the seasoning to the liquid and get creative in what you put in here. Now you can throw in some onions, garlic, rosemary, it's your choice. Today I'm using my Char Griller Acorn Kamado with the Fireboard 2 Pro to control the heat at 375 degrees. Place your seasoned bird on top of the stand, tuck in the wings so they don't overcook, and then the stand goes on top of a low profile drip pan and line that drip pan with foil. Now on my Kamado, the smoking stone and the drip pan help make this set up indirect heat. A three to four pound bird will cook to 165 degrees in as little as one to one and a half hours. Now my bird is seven pounds, it's gonna take longer, maybe as much as three hours. And also because I insist on bringing the thigh temperature up to at least 185 degrees, that'll add a little bit more cook time. Now, when you think your bird's getting close to being done, check the temperature with an instant read thermometer like a thermopin. When the chicken meets your specifications for cook temperature, then remove it from the heat, cover it with foil, and let it rest for at least 10 minutes before carving. This is an absolutely great way to enjoy your chicken. Look how juicy that is. Enjoy. There's nothing better than beer can chicken. You saw me use mink dog fennel pepper rub, so check out this video to learn more about the mink dog blends. <laughs>